Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So it is early in the morning and I bet that you can't even start to guess what we are doing today. <laughs> Let's go ahead and play that intro while you think about it. Okay guys, so it is basically 8 a.m. right now. I have four minutes to get to work. <laughs> I'm running a little bit late, but it'll be all right. So I've already got my makeup done, and just a heads up for you guys, I already reached for this weekend festival palette again, and I did something a little less bright, and uh, yeah, I love it. And I used the shimmers out of it this time too. It's on point. But, uh, <clears throat> oh, and, and, I'm going to go ahead and start giving y'all updates on things. I actually used the BH Cosmetics Eyeliner and Eyebrow Pencil again. And, uh, they're both really nice. I'm going to continue testing out a lot of the BH stuff because it's so affordable. Um, I know in my video Friday, I told you my first impressions, but I want to be able to give you, like, a detailed how I really feel about it. So we may revisit it later. I don't know. Maybe when I get a better foundation because I did not use that again. <laughs> but okay, to the point of this video, today we are doing a Wear Test Tuesday. So I picked a lippy that um, Tati recently covered and she said it was incredible. She did a wear test. She swatched all the colors in the collection. I'm broke. I have one. I picked out the color that I liked the best. So what we have got is these L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These are the Le Chocolat collection. And they are scented. And I got the shade Box of Chocolate. Or Box of Chocolates. And the tip looks like this. It's pointed. It's supposed to be easier. And like, okay, I know like a lot of tarts... Yeah, a lot of Tarte stuff tends to smell like chocolate. Okay, well, this smells like chocolate, but this is like not just a faint little hint of chocolate. This smells like a stinking brownie. Like, it really does smell super good. And I swatched it on my hand the other day just to see how that worked out. And it stayed there forever, and it still smelled like chocolate, and it was magical. But, but... We are going to go ahead and zoom in and we are going to apply Boxo Chocolates. So here we go. Okay, so that color is applied. It's really pretty. I'm so glad I picked this color. I love like brownish nudes, but I'm so pale that uh, this is about the darkest I can get away with before I start looking super vampy, which I have no issue with except when I'm going to work and they don't appreciate it when I look vampy. <laughs> so this is super cute. It went on really easy. I did not dip back in to the container a single time. So this is... I already lost it. Oh. This is one swap coverage. No extra dips. No nothing. This is just, I took it out, put it on. That's it. So it's super opaque. It is super pretty. Went on really easy. Love the applicator. I can still just barely smell it. So if you have like a smell thing, you may not like it. But it's not horrible. Like... I mean, it's like right here and I still can't like I think I just know that it's there <laughs> I don't think I can actually smell it but yeah so that is it for right now um, I'm gonna do some check-ins throughout the day uh, okay so it's actually Thursday for me and Golden State won last night so that means Flo's getting a free taco for lunch <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows that. When they went on the road, you get a free taco. My roomie informed me last night. So I'm getting a free taco. But yeah, 
We're going to see if it can last through tacos and all kinds of other fun stuff and see what we think about this lipstick. So I will see y'all in a couple of hours. Bye guys. Hey guys. Okay. So it is time for our first test. I got Taco Bell. I'm going to eat a quesadilla and see what happens. But it is 11 o'clock in the morning, which is my usual lunchtime. I know I eat early. Um, we are, so that makes us three hours in. So far, it looks just as good as it did when I put it on. It is flawless. I love it. And I'm actually really glad I went with this color. I think it's pretty good on me. And like my sister even got this color and she's super tan and it looks really good on her too. So box of chocolates is a color I would definitely recommend. Um, yeah, so it is good so far. Only downside is it's a little bit sticky. I kind of remember Tati saying that and she said that after a probably like three four hours the stickiness went away and I've noticed that it is a little less sticky now than it was when I put it on so we will see if that will go all the way away and yeah I'm gonna go eat my quesadilla <sighs> work a little longer and when I'm done <laughs> I will come back and check in again probably around 2 30 sound good 2 30 sounds good 2 or 2 30 and see how it's doing so we can get a check-in every three ish hours just to see how this is holding up but so far so good I really really like it a lot and I may have to go back and get candy man because it's kind of like this but a little more pink so yeah that is it for this first check-in I am so excited to see how this holds up all day because so far looking like this might be a winner <laughs> see y'all in a minute guys hey guys okay so it is like 2 15 ish um <clears throat> so we are going on six hours of wear time if my math is right you all know my math is always a little slow but it is still wonderful still just about perfect lasted really well through my taco and my quesadilla <laughs> and yeah i'm adoring this lipstick all the stickiness is gone nothing is coming off definitely good i mean six hours of wear is crazy but we are probably going to get in at least 12 hours today just to see how it lasts through dinner and everything too since i woke up at the time of a normal human being today and actually put on makeup before work <laughs> So we're going to have a couple more check-ins, but that is it for this one. Still going strong. Okay, guys, so I'm back. It is a little after 5 o'clock. I just got home from work. So everything is still looking solid. No feathering. <clears throat> Nothing of that nature. I have a cat, an angry cat, who just wants to crawl on me and not be good for anything. <laughs> but yeah, that is nine hours of wear time so far. We gonna keep it on a little longer, see what happens. <coughs> but I don't think I can defeat this lippy today. It seems to be staying. The only place it's faded at all is like in here. But even that's not like bad. Like you can't tell it's like that. I just know. However, my eye makeup is killing this eye and I'm doing everything in my power not to rub my eye because it's been watering for like two hours. And I don't know why I think it's my mascara. Maybe, I'm not sure. But yeah, that is this check-in. I'm gonna be lazy and maybe go get some Chinese food or something because that's usually a really good test and see what happens. But yeah, that's it for this check-in, guys. I'll be back in a couple more hours. Okay, guys, so final check-in. It is almost nine o'clock at night. And yes, <laughs> I'm already sleepy. But 
I have put this lipstick through the ringer. I have eaten, had stuff to drink. It hasn't come off, it hasn't feathered. It's dried out a tiny bit, but in all fairness, we are 13 hours in. So I think that's reasonable. <laughs> And it didn't start drying out till like eight or nine hours. So it took it a very, very long time. But, okay, so final thoughts, because we are done for today, because I'm about to go to bed early. Final thoughts, um, it smells like brownies, which is incredible. I like it when my lipsticks smell good. I know that's not everybody's thing, but I love it. Have a bug bite, you guys. And, uh... <laughs> It stays really well. The applicator was amazing. The color selection is really pretty to me. They've all got like the brown tones to them and I love that. I know I'm super pale so that's probably weird but I love those and I think they work well on pale people and obviously medium tan skin tones they work really well and the lighter colors may not work that well on deep skin tones. I guess it's up to your preference but they have you know super dark colors, super light colors, they have a pinkish color, they have almost everything. Something in this line would probably work for everybody. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm definitely a fan. Probably gonna go to Walmart and buy the Candyman one tomorrow because I know I love the formula now. And I may get a couple more even though goodness knows I don't need any more lipstick, but I want it. So <laughs> that's what really matters. So uh, that is it for today's wear test. This is definitely approved by me if that matters to anybody I would highly recommend it it cost about eight dollars that's not bad at all and you can pick it up at Walmart or Ulta maybe Walgreens and stuff too I'm not sure I didn't check but I know they have it at Walmart and Ulta so yeah it's also easily accessible so that is it for today's wear test I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see you probably very soon with a wonderful tutorial that I'm so excited for so be watching out for that I hope you'll have an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you soon. Bye you guys.